Hi, Isla. Right here? Oh, I'm just so tired. Two minutes. Yeah, we're good? Okay. Good evening, everyone. It's Andy Glenn here from Sharks TV, joined by Saltway Sharks, man of the match, Mr. John Dunbar. John, congratulations on man of the match, but maybe not perhaps the result you would have wanted. No, obviously, obviously we wanted to see that one out when, you know, you're up 4-3, uh, five minutes left. We've got to find a way to, to just hang in there. Um, it's unfortunate. We'll take the point and uh, learn from our mistakes and move forward with it. I would tell for their team on forum, they've won five in a row now, so getting a point off them, they're, they're a ve very different team from the team that came up here earlier in the season, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very different looking team than they were, you know, like you said, the f first two games. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of a weird one. I feel like we did a lot of good things. Um, had a lot of momentum five on five. I think that second period kind of traded special teams opportunities, might have ruined a little bit of the flow of the five on five play. Um, yeah, it's it's tough. It's that's a tough one to swallow. You obviously five minutes left. You got to find a way to just squeeze that out. I mean, I always fancy our chances on overtime because it's usually Olivier, Nolan, and you on on the drink. And the tactic is clear: give the puck to you and just sit back <laughs> and enjoy. And there was a couple of a couple of chances, but I did feel that we were probably less dangerous on the 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 overtime than they were. Yeah, I mean, we definitely, right off the bat, I think that's always our, you know, our mindset is we're not going to sit back. We want to, you know, first couple shifts really try to, to put it into the game. Um, and we did. We had a couple of really good looks. I think, you know, fair play to them. They did a good job of slowing it down, kind of controlling it. Had us hemmed in our zone a couple of times. They're moving the puck well. Um, yeah, but I mean, overtime is one of those, those things. It's a, it's a coin toss. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, and then even more so when you go to penalties. And uh, it's not often we see you take a penalty. Why is that? <laughs> I was actually up next. I was fifth. I like to, you know, there's, it's one of those things you, you work in practice and there's some guys that uh, kind of have a knack for it. Um, I don't mind taking them. I, I usually try to go later in the later rounds. But, uh, yeah, I think we, we did what we could. You know, Marzi played so well, as he does every night. Um, you know, he's easily one of our best, best players every single game. Um, and he gave us a chance to win it. And, unfortunately, we just couldn't find a way in the, in the penalties. Well, congratulations on your performance tonight. It was a real pleasure watching you. And it was a real good game of hockey for fans to watch. Maybe just wasn't the, 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 the result we would have wanted as Sharks fans, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah, agreed. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. <clears throat> it's good. That's awesome. Thanks, Paul.